President Donald Trump has been in office nearly 100 days, the mainstream media is having a field day talking about all of the things he hasn't yet accomplished. Autumn Leva is our Director of Policy and Communications here at Family Policy Alliance. We are going to talk about some of those things that haven't gotten done yet, but we're also going to talk about some of the things the President has accomplished. Hey, Autumn, thanks for being here. Hey, Kim. All right, so let's start out with positive. Let's talk about accomplishments. Well, I think the biggest accomplishment that everyone's talking about is the confirmation of Justice Neil Gorsuch to the Supreme Court. That's President Trump following through on his promise to appoint a conservative justice who would uphold the rule of law and not use the position to further any sort of political agenda. Mm, he really did that with Justice Gorsuch. We're already seeing good things from him. Another area that we have been watching is the Title IX issue. What's happened there? That's right. That's another accomplishment of President Trump. What he did was he undid President Obama's Title IX bathroom mandate which would have forced all federal schools to allow boys and girls bathrooms or else risk losing all of their federal funding. So it was great that he took that first step to end that bad, uh, bad regulation. All right. On the other side of the coin, on the campaign trail, candidate Trump talked a lot about repealing Obamacare. That hasn't quite happened yet. Nope, that one hasn't come yet, but we have to remember that President Trump can't undo a law by himself. He needs Congress, and Congress has had some disagreement over what that repeal looks like. But I think the important thing to remember is that the House, the majority of the House, the majority of the Senate, and President Trump all want to see Obamacare repealed, so that's a good sign. And I also think it's important that we know that so many of you, and, and us as well, we want to make sure that the loopholes that were included in Obamacare that forced taxpayers to fund abortions, we want to make sure that any repeal bill uh, closes those loopholes and make sure that we aren't forced to fund abortions. Yeah, absolutely. One other area that Family Policy Alliance follows closely is the defunding of Planned Parenthood. Where do we stand there? That's right. Well, the same process that we need to use in order to repeal Obamacare is kind of a, a complex process. It's called budget reconciliation. It happens once per year, and it avoids the filibuster. That's why we can get these things done. So defunding of Planned Parenthood has to follow that same process. And I think we need to make sure that we keep the pressure on the Senate and the House to make sure they know that this is really our only shot at defunding Planned Parenthood. And they receive the vast majority of their funding, about 80% through Medicaid funds. And defunding Planned Parenthood through this process would eliminate those funds. And I think we're all ready to see taxpayer funding of Planned Parenthood go. Great information. As always, we want you to unleash your citizenship. We try to make it easy for you. If you go to FamilyPolicyAlliance.com and click on the Take Action button, you'll find a whole host of things where you can contact your lawmakers. Specifically today, we want you to click on the one that you'll send to your representative and senators asking them to support defunding of Planned Parenthood. You just go in and fill out the information and an email will be sent to your lawmaker. It's very, very easy. Again, just go to Family Policy Alliance. That's familypolicyalliance.com.